Hi, this is my workout space today and yes, we're going to do a form of workout. It's a um, uh, beginner, intermediate, full body workout. So you might be thinking, I don't own a reformer uh, and my local Pilates studio is unfortunately closed because of the coronavirus. Um, so of course this is a workout for those who has a um, reformer available to them. I actually have clients who own a, a reformer. Um, and this uh, workout is for you who already knows the reformer. So let's begin. So we start on the reformer, place your feet on the wood, under the bar. And I have four springs on. This is a peak Pilates reformer. You might have another spring system on your reformer, but it's, uh, it's quite heavy, uh, ready for footwork. Sit up tall, arm of your hips, roll down on your reformer, place your head on your headrest and place your feet just in a hip width apart distance on your heels on the bar and just take a moment here to just settle into the reformer and feel your collarbones widen and just uh, let go down towards the mat Feel your abs drawing in and up and just feel a little space at the smalls of your back so you're in a neutral spine. Then just start to uh, focus on breathing, deep breath in through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. And again. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And let's do some pelvic tucks. So just try to draw your abs in, flatten your lower back towards the mat and come back to a neutral spine. So exhale, move your pelvis, tuck your tailbone under and let go and come back to neutral spine and exhale and just a little bit and come back to neutral and one more and come back so we're going to move further up to a pelvic lift so please take your head rest down arms keep reaching down your side and then again, tuck your tailbone under, start articulating your spine all the way up to your bridge position. And maybe give yourself time to just warm up the spine, so lift as high as possible for you. And roll down, melting down towards the reformer. And back to neutral. And again, exhale. Start to tuck your tailbone under and articulate up, bone by bone, lift yourself up, reach out through your knees, open your hips and roll down through the spine. Give yourself time to move. And one more, exhale, roll up. Keep your inner thighs connecting, lifting from your glutes, ribs are down. 
reach through the fingertips. As you go down. Bone by bone. And come to neutral spine. And stay here. Ribs are connected. Flatten out your lower spine towards the mat. But don't tuck your tail and your pelvis. Arms close to your shoulder uh, pads and lift to table top. Let's do the supine uh, spine twist. So twist to one side and keep widening your shoulders. And lift up and pull your belly button down towards your lower spine. And again, up and over and lift up. So your legs keep squeezing together. Keep them stacking one over the other. And then lift one hip up and over the other hip and come to the center. And again, twist. And lift up, pulling your abs down. So this is a really good warm up for your abs. Use your deep abdominals. So move your legs back to center. Last one to the other side. Move up and over. And come to the middle. And stay. So let's do some curl ups. Curl ups without the tensions of the springs. So chin to your chest. And lift up and reach to the sides of your hips. And inhale, stay. Exhale, arms close up and lower your head down. And again, change your chest. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, stay. And exhale, lower everything down. And two more. Change your chest. Lift and lengthen up. Then you have down. You try to keep your hips in a neutral position so you don't lift your pelvis to curl up your upper body. Inhale, lift your arms and exhale. Come down, last one. Change your chest. Everything up. Try to move your arms before your upper, upper body lowers down. And come down. Arms come to your side. And let's continue with uh, some footwork. So you can take your head rest up again if you want to. And widen your heels so they are hip width apart. Place your feet. And try not to, to push yourself up towards your shoulder rest. And then push up. Lengthen everything up. And feel equal, equal weight on both sides. And try to, to make your pelvis as neutral as possible. Lengthen up through both ends of, of the body so that everything is working in opposition. And then come in. And bend and flex. Add your hip uh, quiz, so come in and press up. Exhale in, inhale out, exhale in and press up. Yes. So the only flexion is in your knees and at your hips. Try to lengthen up your spine so you don't move your, your lower body and and tuck your pelvis as you bend in. Keep your sacrum heavy towards the reformer. And press up, and in. Last one out, and then come halfway in. Let's do small pulses. And use your breath. Exhale, small exhalation when you come in. And five, four, three, two, one. Stretch everything out and come back in. So narrow your heels just to sit bones inches apart. And let's continue. Full footwork, press up and exhale, come forward. Inhale, open, exhale, hold. Just try to relax your shoulders, arms are reaching down your side. And try to just feel again that there's balance in your right 
and in your left side of your body, press up and hold. Two more, up and press hold. Last one now, and halfway hold and small pulses again. And emphasis on your exhalations. Small pulses. Five, four, three, two, one. Press everything out and come back in. So, so come to the balls of your feet and then come all the way up to the highest of your heels. Maybe just the uh, the church shoe is a little lower and try to stabilize your ankles here as you press up. And exhale, hold. Inhale, open up the front of your body and come home. So keep pressing through the balls of your feet. Keep your ankles still. And try not to lock your knees as you spring out your legs. But keep supporting your knees and activating your knees and your hamstrings as you straighten everything out. And press up. And come on. Last one. Out. And halfway home. Small pulses here. Five. Four. Three, two, whoo, lengthen everything out and come back home. So turn out in your hips, heels are together so you are in your first position, plant stance and press everything out so you feel your sit bones become narrow as you straighten your legs up and widen your sit bones as you, as you come home. Press up. Exhale, hold. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. And press up and hold. Sip up those inner thighs as you relax the length. Just keep squeezing your heels together. And in this variation, really think uh, about the position in your body. So lengthening out through the crown of your head, reaching your heels together and keep working in towards the midline of the body. Two more. Inhale out. Exhale home. Last one up. Halfway home. Small pulses. So this is a very good dynamic, dynamic movement. Try to really keep your powerhouse still as your legs are moving. So this again is all happening in your hips and in your knees. Try to isolate your ankles still as you move. For three, two, one. Lengthen everything out and come back in. And come to a wide position on your heels and turn out from your hip socket and again so from its heavy towards the reformer, press up, exhale, hold. Inhale, open up, exhale, bend up, and again, out, and in. Two more, out, and in. One more, open, close halfway, four pulses again. Continue. Five, four, three, two, one. Lengthen out. Sit bones in and under, lifting and opening your hips and bend everything in. Come to the balls of your feet, still in an open wide position, and press up and bend in. Inhale, open, exhale, bend. Keep pulling your belly down, belly button down towards your 
low spine, so keep lengthening up through the tail, up through the crown of your head. And ribs are in, and you can feel your lower ribs are connected to the mat as well. And five, four, three, two, last one off, halfway in. Last pulse. My legs are burning now. <laughs> and five, four, three, two, one. Raise everything up and come back home. And come to the balls of your feet again. Let's do some prancing. So press the rib arm around. One heel comes under and press through both balls of the feet as you move your angles, stretching out the tendons of your Achilles and down, lift up. So keep lengthening away from the foot bar. So this of course is also very much a lot of work in opposition. And you can maybe just to control that your hips are still put the thumb to the bottom rib and your point finger to your hips and feel that this is really much about pelvic and core stabilization maybe go further to running so you go a little faster feel that one up that's four Three, two, one. Just lower both heels under. Get a nice little stretch. Keep lengthening in our position. And lift everything up. And bend to come in. <sighs> Arms to the ceiling. Change your chest. Roll up. Let's change our springs for some single leg work. So I'm gonna. On this reformer, go to one yellow and one blue. Arms to the front. So that's just half the weight of what we used in uh, both legs in the footwork series. And roll down. Arms to the side. We'll place one heel on the front part of the other. Leg comes to table top and try to balance out your left and right side of the body. Press everything out and come on. Inhale, open, exhale, close. This, this is again a lot about stabilization in your pelvis and in your core. So keep drawing your pelvic draw up, abs are in. And hips are in alignment. Your back is long towards the mat. And two more. And one more. Stay up here. Strain your leg towards the ceiling. Let's do some leg circles and just bring your, your thigh down in the hip socket as you circle up and over and then around. Circle over and up and around. Circle and around. So this is a lot of abdominal work. You have to keep your hips still as the leg is moving. And over and around and up. Over and around and up. Two more. One more. And reverse. Out and around and up. Out and around and up. Up and around and up. Two more. And one more. Bend the knee. Come home. Change your leg. Try to place both feet at, at, at once at the foot part to see if you're uh, in balance. Come on, lift the other leg up. Place your head again at the head first and push out and come in. Inhale, open. Exhale, and now you really feel if there's difference in your right side and left side of your body. 
Don't shift your hips, and still just in a alignment. Everything is balanced out. And four, three, two, last one out. You can feel my hamstring is very tight here. But try to keep your sacrum heavy and circle over, up and around, circle up and around, and feel the heaviness of your thigh down in your hip socket. And just open everything up as you roll around, stirring down in your hip side. One more. Other direction. Out and around and up. And circle around and up. Out and around and up. Two more. Oops. One more. Bend your leg and come all the way in. Yes. So let's do some abdominal work. Arms to the ceiling. Change your chest. Roll up. Of course, you can step off to the side, you don't have to roll up. Let's take the bar down. Maybe you want to lower your legs, I don't know. Let's try it out. So, grab your straps, arm comes to the outside of your shoulder pad, and come to your reformer again. Place yourself so you're in the center of your reformer. Lift your legs to tabletop. Hands comes just above your shoulders and pull your shoulders down. So you really feel your shoulder blades towards your upper back. Change your chest and then just curl up. Arms come to the ceiling and head comes down. Change your chest and look up. Keep reaching up with your fingertips. Reach to the ceiling and curl down. Change your chest and curl up. Just open your knees a little bit. It gives more space down in your hips. Open and lift up. And come down. So two more. And down. One more. Let's stay for a hundred. Change your chest. Lift all the way up, maybe you want to lift your legs towards the ceiling and start pumping. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. If you want to, lower your legs down on the diagonal and continue pumping. Two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three. Four, five, and exit two, three, four, five, and in two, three, four, five, and exit two, three, four, five, and in two, three, four, exit two, three, four, five, and in two, three, four, five, exit two, four, five, last one. So bend your legs in, arms reach to the ceiling, and then just Reach your arms and legs towards the ceiling and then lower your arms by your side, lower your legs, lift your arms and lift your arms. Arms by your side, lower and flatten your abs down as you lower, keep them flattening, ribs are down as you lift your arms and lift your legs. Arms down, legs down, arms up. Legs up, arms down, legs down, arms up, and up. And arms down, stay here. Let's do the scissors. So, change in the air, change. And keep your legs just like scissors, really sharp. And keep the stabilization up of your pelvis. Exhale. Four, three, two, and one. So the ceiling, lift your head up, open your legs, 
close your arms and lift your legs at the same time and lower and lift up and lower down sinking down in your lower back, you can bend your legs a little bit, it, it will really help you to lift up. So let's continue with some uh, chest expansion. So grab just uh, behind um, these rings and pull back in and exhale down and to the front. Inhale, press everything back, hold it. And Exhale to the front. Inhale, pull back. And exhale to the front. So try really to notice if your shoulders are crawling up towards your ears. They need to be strong down your back. So this is a lot of core and upper body work. Inhale, pull back. And exhale to the front. And two more. Back. Exhale to the front. And one more. And to the front. Yes, I'm going to grab the small uh, loops. And this is going to be a bicep curl. The first, palms to the ceiling, curl back. Abs in and up, shoulder blades strongly pull into the back, and then bend, straighten your elbow, flex, and extend. Keep reaching out through your heels, keep your abs scooped in and up, and out. Bend in, and slowly straighten your arms, and again in. And open. And bend your arms. And open. Four more. Three. Two. One. And come all the way up. Sit tall out of your hips. Grab the long loops and then shoulder blades come to the back. Bend your elbows wide. Straighten your arms to the side and keep your shoulder blades connected to your back as the arms come to the front again. So shoulder blades, elbows, straighten everything out, come to the front and just let go a little bit to feel the initiation of the shoulder blades coming together. And what, what I often see when you do these kinds of exercises that you want to, to, to pull your chin to the front, try to sit up, up tall, pull your, the back of your head a little towards the back so you sit lifted, hips your rib cage, your head, all on top of each other. And one more. And slowly to the front. So 
So hold your loops with your legs crossed to the front. So you are pulling from the back and palms are to the ceiling, elbows to the side, sit up tall, just like you're serving a tray. Go to the front and bend into your waist again. And exhale, reach to the front and come back. And reach and back. Keep your sit bones narrow as you lift out of your hips. The spine should be long and lifted. Two more. One more. So reach to the front for like a tree. Palms toward each other and then open up wide. And just come so you can see your fingers in your peripheral vision. And exhale. Around this big round tree. Open. Collarbones are wide. Ribs are in, look to the front, lift up tall. And three more. Two more. Last one. And lift overhead for shaving. And just go a little to the front with your Chest bone over to the little to the front of your pubic bone. Look to the front. Maybe just bend to the forehead and up. Maybe to the top of your head and lift up. Maybe you want to go to the back of your head. <sighs> Opening your elbows. Press your knees down as you straighten out your arms and keep lengthening your lower back. As you reach your arms up, so feel the movement is coming all the way from your lower back area. Down. Pull your ribs in. And three more. Two. And one. Arms all the way up to the side. Yes. And then let's go to the side of the reformer for a little scooter. I'm gonna work on our loops. I'm gonna change to two blue springs. That's just a little better than we were working before when we were seated here. So if it comes to your shoulder pad, knee to knee, bend a little bit down in both knees. And then you can start out by holding your Foot bar and press back. And bend in. Press back. And in. Really push back and look, feel that you are standing on your shoulder pad. And press back. And back. And in. Five more. Three. Two. And one, maybe come up if you can balance out here. Press back and in. Hips in line with each other. Look to the front. And back. And press back. And four more. And three. And two. Before we take the other side, let's go to a plank. Let's do the long stretch. So feet are flexed towards your shoulder pads. Arms are wide enough that you feel secure if you were to make some push-ups. Abs in and up. Lift your knees and press back. So hips are down in line with your spine. Lift the back of your head up and then press back. And slide forward and inhale back. Exhale, try to move your chest through your arms. Slide back 
exhale to your front. So all the movement here is coming from your shoulder joint. So everything else should stay isolated. Close with your fingers. Lift yourself away from the foot bump. Let's just do one more. Step off to the side. Change the seat to the other foot for the scooter. Knees are a little bit bent. And cross back. And in. Over the hip. Really feel your glute. Just doing all the work. And press back to come in. Back. Exhale in. Four. Three. Two. And one. You can want to let go of the bar. Find your balance. Press back. And in. Look to the front. Lengthen everything up. And in. Press back. And in. Back. Let's do four. Three. Two. And one. Oops, so we're going to put feet in the straps. Let's sing in this workout. Uh, hold on, one yellow and say one blue. So I have one blue and one yellow now. And I'm going to move to the front. Take my straps in one hand, sit at the edge so I can slide in on the reformer. And just try to make small ears out of your straps, lift your ears, and roll down. And lengthen everything out of the diagonal. Feel your sit bones narrow. Abs are in. Heels are connected together. So you're in a turn out position. And let's start out with some leg circles. So inhale, lift up. Pull your sacrum down. Exhale, open and swing down. Up through the middle. Open, circle down and close. So this is really all about the pelvic stabilization and your deep core muscles. So keep your abs in, ribs are down, and your pelvic pelvis is still as you move your legs in circles. One more. And let's change the direction so you open up and close. Press down and open up, close and press down. And open as big a circle as you can feel your hips up still as you move. And open up, close two more. Last one. And now let's do some simple frogs. So frog in and press up. So really again, sit everything up through the midline. Feel your inner thighs. Sit bones wide. Sit bones are getting narrow as you straighten out your legs. Down, 
legs are up and lengthen and close. So you should really feel your inner thighs open here. And frog in. Open. And lengthen. Close. One more. Frog in. Open. And close. Now, let's reverse. So you open. And bend. Press everything else. That's kind of a bring. A twist. It's a teaser. Try to turn everything around and still the reformer is still as you bend your legs in and it moves again as you come from frog out of the diagonal. One more. Bend and straighten up. Stay low and then open your legs and reach, reach, reach. Closing your legs. Open up and lower and close. So this is also really, really much about your inner thighs. I can feel my inner thighs are burning up right now. Abs are down. Keep lifting up through your pelvic floor. And leave all strength in your shoulders. Reach your arms by your side. Ribs are in and close. Last one. And close and frog in. So please notice if your head rest is down, you're gonna do the short spine massage. And of course, if you don't feel ready for this, you can uh, just continue with some of the other uh, feet and strap exercises. Go so straight out your legs, out on the diagonal. Lift your legs so high that you feel the carriage closed and then roll up. Reach your arms in a position, lift your hips overhead, bend your knees, and then roll down, bone by bone. Rock your legs in, sacrum comes down, heavy on the mat, and spring everything up. Feel your hamstrings stretching out as you lift your legs and start peeling off your spine. You should feel your lower back is long all the way through this exercise. Keep your abs lifting and lengthening your spine. Roll down, bend your legs in, and to neutral, spread your legs out. Lift and lengthen, close your carriage and then roll up. Bend to your shoulder pads, roll down, keep narrowing your arms, they shouldn't be lifting at all. Bend your legs. Last one. This is a great massage for the spine after your workout. Stretch out your hamstrings. Roll up in your stretch, reach your hands towards the springs, bend your legs and keep tension on your skirt at all times. Roll down and bend. So, hands in your straps, come all the way in. Just let go of your straps, arms towards the ceiling, chin to your chest, and roll up. So, you're all done. Thank you for joining me in this workout. There's really so much you can do on the reformer. Uh, and I will be back with uh, another workout and many to come. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. And if you love Pilates, go subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. And um, see you soon.